This is a workflow tutorial. Uh, remember I showed you the uh, Topaz uh, JPEG to RAW AI where you can take your uh, cell phone uh, JPEG images or any JPEG image for that matter and upconvert them to RAW files and then really be able to get great editing results because your images are not going to break apart when you really push the processing on them in editing software. But we're going to be... Uh, up converting these cell phone images or one cell phone image. I'm going to up convert it, show you the workflow. We're going to send it into uh, JPEG to raw AI, and then we're going to send it from there into Topaz Studio 2. And then I'll show you a few little editing things inside of Topaz Studio 2. It's not an editing tutorial, like I said, but it's a workflow tutorial. And then I'll show you how to save out the project and then how to open that project back up. So it's going to be a very informative video. I think you're going to enjoy it. So stay tuned and let's get started. I'm working with a Mac computer. These are iPhone images. Hey, I'm a Mac guy and PCs are awesome as well, but uh, I'm, I'm a Mac guy. Anyway... So I'm in my Photos app, and I'm in my Recents folder. I just shot these images this morning. Hey, it's spring now, and there's some flowers coming up. I like these little purple flowers. I believe my wife told me these are periwinkle. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Anyway, so here's my images right here, and I chose this one right here. Now, I can double-click it, and we can see it you know, full size and determine... Do we like the image? If we like it, all we need to do is export it. Now you got to find a place where you want to export it to, but I'll go over that in a second. So we want to come up here to file and we want to go to export, export one photo. And by the way, you could choose many photos and export a bunch at one time if you wanted to. But first thing you need to do is pick the type of photo or the kind of photo. Make sure you have this set to JPEG because remember we're using JPEG to raw AI and it uses JPEG images and that's all it uses. So very important. I would recommend keeping your uh, JPEG quality uh, maximum. You know, so let's get the most out of this file. So let's have it at maximum quality. The color profile, I recommend using Adobe RGB. It's a bigger color space than sRGB, so that's important. And you want to make sure your size is full size. Uh, again, we want to get the most pixels out of our image into JPEG to raw AI. All right, so we want to go maximum on everything here. Uh, I'm just going to use the file name of the file. I'm going to click on export. Now a dialog box opens up here. And this is just your computer... Uh, your computer's hard drive or what you know your drives or whatever you pick a drive wherever you want it to go in my case i already made a uh, uh i have a external hard drive and i made a folder called non-converted where i'm keeping my uh images that are non-converted they're just jpeg images that i'm going to up upscale to raw images using jpeg to raw ai all right so Pick your folder and just click export. And the next step is going to be going into JPEG to raw AI and I'll show you what to do there. Step number two, open up JPEG to raw AI. Mine is located right here. I'm just going to click on this little icon with the nice J on it and that opens up the app. You have two different uh, ways of opening your image. You can click on open here or you can come up to file and click open images there. Now remember this will batch process so you can open up a bunch of images at once and convert them all to raw from JPEG so it's really nice. Now I'm just going to use open right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click open and a file browser opens up. Just point it to where your files are located. Mine are located in this uh, non-converted file folder. Here's the image that I brought in from the uh, Mac Photos app right here the JPEG. I'm going to click that and select it. Now remember, I could select all these if I wanted to, but I just want to work in the one image. So I'm going to click open and it opens up. This preview opens up here. If you don't see that, come up here to view and click on this and click on show preview panel if that's not there. Okay. Now with this preview here, see this little cross right here in this rectangle. You can click on this rectangle with your mouse and drag this around and, and go to different parts of your image and then it'll update over here on the right and you'll see what the conversion looks like. Now remember I told you I like to use auto and I'm sticking with that because it does a really good job and it's fast because uh, right now all I have to do is click start because these parameters are set up and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I could click start and it's it's all it up converts for me. It's that fast. Um, 
but you can also go to manual if you wanted to and make your own adjustments in here. The reason I'm using auto is because I have sharpen AI, so if I need extra sharpening on my, on my image, I can use that. And if you have Topaz Studio 2, you have that excellent AI clear inside of Topaz Studio 2 that you can sharpen your image further if you need it. But this does a really good job, even in the auto position right here. It's a really nice uh, raw conversion. Okay. And uh, you have to set up initially your output and your file format. So for the output here, uh, you have to, if you click on browse, a file browser comes up again. And then again, you just point it to where you want your files to go to. So you can come in here and select a, a hard drive, internal, external, whatever. And you can create your a file folder and put your images there. In my case, I already uh, created a file folder inside of this OWC uh, external drive I have in a uh, folder called JPEG to RAW and a subfolder called JPEG to RAW converted auto. It just helps me to know where they're at. So right there, and all I have to do is click on open, and that'll that'll remember that the next time I open it up, it'll remember the last setting you had here. You can give it an output file name, a prefix or a suffix, uh, or both. Uh, it defaults with the suffix of JPEG to RAW, which is what I use, and it works nice. It just uh, uh, puts that at the end of my file name, JPEG to RAW, so I know that was a converted file, so that's nice. And then you have to pick a file format, uh, you have two choices. It looks like you have three, but you have DNG, TIFF, and TIFF, or TIFF. These are just two different ways of, of spelling the extension TIFF. You can have TIF or TIFF. It's the same thing, though. In my case, I'm using digital negative, which is a raw file. And then all you have to do is click on Start. And uh, you'll probably see my my voice gets out of sync here because this is very uh, a processor and uh, graphics card uh, processor intensive okay so it's using up a lot of computer resources now this takes about 30 seconds on my computer it may take longer on other computers it may be shorter it depends how old your computer is and what kind of uh, graphics card you have or what kind of uh, processor you have these are all determining factors of how fast this will process out you know it could take 30 seconds it could take 15 seconds it could take two minutes it could take three it really depends on your computer okay and and voila, we are done. All we have to do is come up here where it says Topaz uh, JPEG to Raw AI. Click right here in the file menu up here and click quit. And I'll show you the next step right now. Step number three, open up uh, Topaz Studio 2. So mine's located right here, this little app icon. I'm going to click it and open up Topaz Studio 2. You have two different ways of opening up the image. This looks kind of like the same interface. It's it's different, but it looks similar to the uh, JPEG to RAW. I like how the Topaz keeps things pretty consistent. So you have the open right here, or you can come up here to file and click and click open image or project there. So I'm just going to click open here. My file browser opens up. Now you'll notice it says PS for Photoshop. That's just the way my uh, Mac is set up. It, it shows these icons for PS. These are digital negatives, so you don't see the actual image here because it's a digital negative. So I do know that my uh, image number was 0407. So you may want to take note uh, what your image is because you're not going to probably see. I don't know on Windows if you'll see the actual image or not. You may or may not. I don't know. But I know on a Mac you don't. But there's 0407. And you see my suffix of JPEG to RAW. So that's kind of nice. I love that suffix on there. I know that's a converted image. I'll just click it right here and click open and Right there's my uh, raw image opened up inside of Topaz Studio 2, ready for me to process. Now remember, this is a workflow tutorial, not an editing tutorial. I've done a bunch of editing tutorials inside of Topaz Studio 2, so go back and watch those. But this is really how to go from, a, from my Photos app into uh, JPEG to RAW AI to convert my cell phone photo into a raw file and then bring it into Topaz Studio 2. But the cool thing is now that we have an actual raw file we can really push our editing process and our image won't break apart on us like a JPEG would okay giving us banding and artifacts and all kind of craziness but now we can really work and edit this image just the way we want it to be okay. So I'm just going to give you a few pointers in here. Uh, one thing I would definitely do inside of Topaz Studio 2, if your image is relatively in focus, it doesn't have any camera shake issues or things like that, 
you can just use AI Clear to give it that extra little sharpness that it probably needs, okay? Because remember, we used auto inside of uh, JPEG to RAW AI, okay? If it has uh, stabilization issues or out of focus issues, then I would uh, take it into uh, Sharpen AI if you own it. If you don't, you should get it. It's an awesome program. But you come up to filters and go to plugins and click on Sharpen AI, and that'll send it out to sharpen ai and you can fix those stabilization or focus issues okay but for an image is already relatively sharp like this image here just come up to add filter click on ai clear and see that blue line going across in a few seconds it's going to sharpen up your image here now i'm going to zoom way into this image here so you can actually see the difference okay i'm going to click the sidewall here's the before and it looks sharp but now look at it with ai clear that's a great filter i'll tell you it's amazing okay so there's the AI clear. And a couple of the other things I want to show you is, let's go to add filter, just to show you how you can really push the processing here. Let's go to um, HSL color tuning, which is right here. And I could really push the saturation on this image and it's not going to break apart on me or give me banding issues and things like that. Remember, it's a 16-bit file now because it's a raw file in the Pro Photo color space, which is really cool. So let's go into the blue color here. What if I wanted to alter the color on these flowers here, just the blue flowers? So I can come to the blue saturation now and just pull up the blue saturation. See, they're, they're not going to go crazy on me like if they were a JPEG file. So I can really get aggressive with this color. I can come up here with the hue and alter them, maybe make them a little more purple, or I could make them yellow, whatever I want. You know, so it's, it's really nice. And I can come to the lightness and make them lighter or darker, whatever, whatever mood I'm in, really. So there we go. Or I could come to the greens and maybe uh, give my greens just a little bit more saturation and maybe pull their lightness back a little bit. You know, and just really play around with it and, and have some fun. Then I can go to the overall um, the overall uh, saturation and give the overall saturation a bump if I wanted to. Or cut it back. Whatever I wanted to do. Let's just give it a, a tiny little bump. Now, if I left-click on this canvas, you'll see here's the before and here's the after. But the cool thing is it's a raw file, so we can really push the processing on this image, which is awesome. So I hope you really see the value here to the JPEG to RAW, especially for cell phone images. It's going to change your world, really. So when you're done, you have a couple things you can do. You can come up here to export and click export and export. This is a JPEG or a TIFF, whatever you wanted. Or you could save it as a project file. That way you, you might say, I have more editing to do, but I don't have time right now to do it. So you can save it out as a project. When you open it back up, all your layers will be here, okay? And to do that, all you have to do is come up here to File and um, Save Project As. Uh, the file browser opens up, and all you have to do is tell it where you want to save it to. And let's just make it simple today, and I'll just save it to my desktop. I'm going to give it a name called JPEG to RAW AI, and then I'm going to say TS2 for Topaz Studio 2. And that's going to save it as a .ts2 file. It's a special file for Topaz Studio 2. It's a project file. I'll click Save. Now I can go ahead and come up to File here and click Close. Close out of here. And actually, I should say Quit. Go and quit this altogether. Now that application is shut down. Now on my desktop, there's that .ts2 file right there, right? So I'm going to show you something really cool. I can double click this. It'll open up Topaz Studio 2. There's my image here in a second with all its files in place. There you go. There's the files. And if I left click, there's a before and there's after. So there is my uh, workflow video starting out in my photos app with from my, my cell phone images, my iPhone images. Uh, up converting them to raw files in uh, Topaz JPEG to raw AI and then coming into Topaz Studio 2 and doing an edit and again now that it's a raw file I can really push the edit and do anything I want and it's going to be awesome so it's really great. Well that was the workflow video uh, coming from my uh, photos app with my iPhone JPEG image converting it to a raw file with JPEG to raw AI and coming into Topaz Studio 2 for the edit. Now remember don't fault me this was not an edit because you see this blue in this leaf here I know there's blue in this leaf this was not an editing uh, tutorial so 
be gentle with me on that, okay? So this was a workflow video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. This is great software, and I really wanted to show you the nuts and bolts, how to start and how to edit and how to finish, you know, how to save out the uh, project or export the file, whatever, so you'd know how this all works. And I, I think that will be very helpful to you. Um, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified of